Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, the 18th? Yeah, August 18th. Uh, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so, you know, whenever this resonates with you, this is just what I'm picking up on today, okay? So, right off the bat, somebody may be defending themselves. You may fe be feeling a little defensive. Uh, you may need to stick up for yourself. Somebody is also um, wearing a mask, whether it's you or the other person. Blocking blocking the truth, even though the truth is, is visible. Okay. I don't want to hear the truth, I don't want to hear the truth, I don't want to see the truth, I don't want to speak the truth, okay? It's uh, denial. Somebody is in denial. So... Torn. I'm torn. I'm torn between two options. Yeah, somebody is, is not either accepting the truth or telling the truth. There's some dishonesty here. Which is causing somebody to, you know, put their guard up. There's a lack of faith. I just don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe that this is this is true or I don't believe that I don't believe in you and you know what I heard was why don't you just tell the truth that's what just came up in my mind why don't you just tell the truth somebody is thinking about walking away from a dishonest situation because somebody is lying and the other person needs to stand up for themselves you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't really want a commitment Maybe they they were, you know, they never planned on sticking around. Okay, this is a come and go kind of energy. Look at the eights. Eight, eight, eight. All reversed. Maybe this just, this person came into your life just for uh, a little bit, you know, for a season. You know how that saying goes, you know, because eights are the time is now. The power of now. And these eights are all reversed. Maybe this just isn't, isn't the right time or it isn't the right situation. Maybe this, this whatever this is, was, it was just a passerby to get you, get you along the way. Whatever this is, somebody is not acting with integrity. Somebody is, is um, waiting for something that is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. Um, it's like they're not putting in much effort to, into this commitment. There's a lot of obstacles and lies here. And I know I don't want to give this kind of reading, but it's not what I want. Somebody is being totally, totally dishonest. And somebody is in the process of making a clear decision to do what's right for them and perhaps walk away. I'm thinking about walking away from you because I know you're not telling me the truth. What if I ever this is? Somebody is not telling the truth. Um, and if there's nothing solid that's going to come out of this, then there's no, there's no sense in taking any more steps in your direction. So t today is a day of probably, you know, standing your ground in regards to reality you know accepting the reality of a situation i feel like it's time to take action you are probably dealing with somebody that was very 
flighty. You know, there's there there may have been a, an instant attraction to this person, but there's no staying power. There isn't. This person is dishonest, whoever it is. This will not resonate with everybody, but there is absolutely somebody that is a liar. With the Eight of Swords reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed, the Two of Swords upright, okay? This person is not putting in effort with the Eight of Coins reversed. They're not. They're not. They're not putting in the amount of work that they need to put in. They're not offering anything solid and stable. It's like they're not even making any steps to, to really, really commit. There, you know, and I think that either both of you, one of you, or both of you, is absolutely thinking about walking away because this is emotionally draining. It is. I feel like there's there's somebody that is is really. <sighs> has a stressful decision to make. You know, they have a, they they are feeling some sort of um discontent in regards to what they know, you know, I know I know what's going on here, but I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe that this isn't isn't working out whatever it is. You know, I don't want to believe that you're lying to me. I don't I don't want to believe that. So I, I really feel like there is absolutely some sort of, of denial. I mean, there's denial here. Somebody needs to make a clear decision to to put themselves on top and do what's right from that for them. I mean, those first two cards and stop lying. Stop stop either you're lying to yourself or somebody's lying to you or both. Both. It's like I it, this is inability to see the truth. You need to take action right now. Take that veil off. Remove this obstacle from your life so that you can progress forward in a better manner. Somebody is is a is not committed. Somebody is not committed. That's all there is to it. Okay, I mean it is what it is. If you're dealing with somebody that is doesn't really want a commitment, but they're telling you they are, it's a, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. That's what it looks like to me. It's, and you're somebody knows it, but they're thinking about walking away. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah, somebody may be clinging to their past, still in love with their past. I'm still in love with my past. I wasn't talking about myself, just so you all know. Um, somebody needs to find, there's another eight. The time is now. The time is now to find your strength and your courage to get out of there, to stop, to take action, to let go. Perhaps of whatever this is, maybe it's memories. Maybe you've had, maybe you've made some memories with this person. But this isn't love. With the six of cups reversed, it's not peaceful. It's not harmonious. There's no balance. And it's it's time for you to. Stop putting in all your effort and time and energy into something that is going nowhere. Nines are a sign to move on. It's time to move on from something that has really made you weary. You've given it all that you can give it. And you need to stop sacrificing yourself needlessly for something that is false it's not true it's not stable it's not concrete and it's never going to be whatever it is somebody is dealing with a situation that is leading them nowhere unfortunately And they need, and they're really thinking about leaving this this false commitment or foundation or whatever. They're thinking about leaving it behind because the other person isn't putting in any effort. They're not. They're not even trying. The Eight of Pentacles reversed.
somebody needs to find the strength to move on, to let go, to master their emotions and stand up for themselves and take off the veil and stop pretending. Somebody made, needs to make that clear decision to take action and that is going to take strength to accept the truth that is not being accepted. There's no commitment, no long-term commitment in this situation, whatever it is. And if this reading will not resonate with every single person. And somebody needs to hear that message because people will think, oh, no, that's not my situation. Well, then this reading isn't for you. Some people are in complete denial and they will say that this is not their situation when it is. Okay, That's exactly what this card is. Could be a Leo. Somebody doesn't want to believe. They don't want to see the truth. Could be any sign. And they need to find the strength and the courage to take off that veil and accept the truth and see the truth and believe the truth instead of lying about it. Somebody is clinging to what they know. But it doesn't, it's, it's caused a lot of turmoil. It caused a lot of hurt. It's caused a lot of stress. But it's what I know. It's time to face your fears. And make the decision that is best for you. In which you won't have to fight. You won't have to defend yourself. Whatever's going on here is putting you on the defensive. I mean, who the hell wants to defend themselves constantly? Somebody is blinded. By codependency, I don't want to be alone, so I'm going to pretend that everything is okay. Blinded by codependency. Even if this isn't a solid commitment, at least I got somebody, right? <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's as though, you know, you're dealing with somebody that d doesn't have the strength and the willpower and the discipline and the focus and the concentration to make any moves on their own. So you're going to have to do it. So I feel like today is a day of realizing the truth. Somebody needs to take that veil off and accept the truth, see the truth, speak the truth and do what's right for them. So yeah, I feel like that's what today is about. We're going to get some of these. Today is perhaps re receiving some clarity, which causes you to take action or asks you to take action. But the denial is huge. It really is. This is the queen of denial. And reversed. I don't want to accept the truth even though I know what it is. Yes, this is your soulmate. Soulmates come into your life to teach you something. And sometimes they don't stay. Like I said, somebody may have come into your life for a season to teach you what love is supposed to be and what, or what love is not. To open your eyes. To wake you up. We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. Doesn't mean that it's a forever. It doesn't. Soulmates, they come and they go. They do. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. 
faith in yourself. But there's lack of faith, lack of trust right here. You know, you need to realize that you have another soulmate. You have another option. If you could believe, this is lack of believing. And you see where this is lack of believing that you could have another soulmate. You do. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what you want. Do you want to deal with somebody that's a liar or do you want your soulmate? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's what this is. If you want your soulmate, you're going to have to have faith and trust. And you're going to have to be patient. And you're going to have to walk away from something that isn't, isn't emotionally fulfilling. This is the Eight of Cups. Somebody's going to have to stop living in denial so that they can, they, once they decide that they want the real deal, the real deal will come. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Stop living in denial. Stop living with a situation that makes you walk on eggshells. To hell with that shit. It's time to move on. That's what I have. Talk to you later.